And here are the text message results of your predictions for the Cotto Quintana fight. 59% say it will go under eight rounds. 41% say over eight rounds. Either way, whoever wins this fight, a great night for Puerto Rico in a newspaper website poll on the island. 59% thought Cotto would win. 41% went with Quintana. Far from overwhelming for Cotto in the eyes of the astute fans. Meanwhile, in another paper, 70% said they'd like to see Quintana win. The notion that he's perceived perhaps as a good guy and a hard-working person. Nevertheless, this fight has sparked hot debate in Puerto Rico. And we should point out, this is a massive ring. So for Carlos Quintana, there's plenty of room for him to move. And he'll want to show some movement against Cotto. Cotto, as you know, one of the hardest body punchers in the sport. A natural left-hander who fights righty, which is why he's so effective with both hands. Quintana attacking to the body. Cotto feels he's even stronger now at 147 and has more stamina. He can go all out, not conserve energy, he feels. You know, mentioned in the keys that Quintana will go to the body. We think of Cotto as the body. Cotto's a terrific body puncher. But Quintana will go down there as well. And we see it even early in this fight. Quintana long, tall, quick-handed, southpaw. A natural welterweight. He says his skills, not the weight, will determine the winner here. No small point to be considered here. We've mentioned it before, but it's worth mentioning again. This is only the third southpaw as a pro Cotto has faced. He had big trouble against Demarcus Corley when he fought him. And Corley, who rocked Cotto early in their fight, doesn't hit nearly as hard as Quintana. Great right hand by Cotto, and Quintana shrugged it off. But Quintana is staying on the inside more with Cotto than I would have expected him to. He's rumbling with Cotto. Good idea? I don't know. We'll find out as Cotto digs in. Hard work rate for Cotto. Cotto's cutting off the ring very well against Quintana, but look at Quintana counterpunch. This is going to be a very, very entertaining match. Off to a solid start. Cotto typically not a fast starter. He usually takes his time, analyzes his opponent, then goes to work. Not so tonight. Very interesting first round. More punches landed by Quintana, but a couple of very hard ones by Cotto. Think about Quintana. He's a consummate boxer. He can fight. No, 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 no. To slip. He has a very tough mentality. Has decent power, but of course doesn't hit like Cotto. But he feels Cotto may be underestimating his power. Quintana's negating his height and reach advantage by bending into Cotto. It's one thing he sometimes does, and this was a fight in which he shouldn't do that. Great jab by Cotto. So an action pack opening round here in Atlantic City between Cotto and Quintana. They are going at it. Our translator, Felix J. Jesus. Breathe, breathe in deep, breathe, breathe hard, be calm, here comes the water, that's it, breathe, breathe nicely, first round, okay, Quintana was hit with some shots by Cotto. Here's the straight right hand. Now, he cuffed him a little bit with that punch, but still got a nice one in. And the movement, very important in this fight. You see Quintana and uh, Cotto get their legs crossed there. And that's going to happen with a righty and a lefty. And it'll happen a lot in this fight. I'll tell you what. Quintana landed some very good straight left hands in that round, uh, Steve. I'll be looking to see what impact that has on Cotto. Quintana has been down only once in his career, 23 fights, and it was his last fight. In the first round, a flash knockdown. 
against Joel Julio. Of course, Quintana came back to win by unanimous decision. And if ever there was a fight to prepare you for Cotto, it would be to fight Joel Julio, who fights in a very similar style. And by the same token, Cotto fought Pauli Malinaggi, who also has, though he's a righty, has some of the same traits as Quintana. So these two fighters had very good fights leading into this to help them. Malinaggi fighting a courageous boxy oh, fight. Excellent performance. Well, take a close look on that note at Quintana's face right now. In several of Cotto's fights, his opponent's face has looked very different at the end of the fight, as in swollen and disfigured. Just ask Balanaji or Gianluca Branco. Now, Quintana is the real welterweight, if you will. He's been welterweight his whole career for the most part. Cotto moving up. And I, we got the impression that Quintana felt he could stand with Cotto if he had to, that he's the true welterweight. But we'll see. And for the most part, he's doing that. Even though he's just moving, he's not running. Okay, Quintana can manage to get Cotto in a defensive mode. He'll be in a lot better shape. That is one way to get to Cotto. And also, of course, to box him. He doesn't move back well. So a lot of side to side here from Quintana. Worst thing you can do is move straight back against Cotto. Cotto trying out the right hand. The Quintana jab has not been as effective as it might be early in this fight, and that's allowing Cotto to get inside a little bit better. When you think of Cotto, Al, of course, you think of him being a slugger. Do you think he, he has an underrated jab? Absolutely. He's got an excellent jab. And, in fact, he's a very good ring technician. His only liabilities have been defensive. On offense, he does everything. So it's been a quick pace here from the outset. Things finally settling down for the moment. Cotto digging to the body. Cotto now more measured, but in stalking fashion. Now he's been, he's now following Quintana around the ring, not cutting it off as much, Cotto, and that's been a little bit of a problem for him and might be allowing Quintana to take this round. How you doing? Okay, nice and calm. Okay, give me some water. Okay. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Much better? Much better round. He's going to stay. He's going to stay. Don't worry about it. He's counter punching. He's counter punching. You got to watch for that. He's counter punching with the jab. You got to be more alive. More alive with your right hand. Even if he throws rights, you got to be more alive. More alive. Okay? That's the game plan. Alive. In the eye here. Put the swelling down a little bit here. You got to put it. So we head into round three, scheduled for 12 for the vacant WBA welterweight championship. Miguel Cotto in the white with the black and red trim. Carlos Quintana in the red, blue, and white, the colors of the Puerto Rican flag. Cotto 27-0 with 22 knockouts. Quintana 23-0 with 18 KOs. Cotto trying to get under the elbows to the liver area of Quintana. I don't know if it's nerves or what, but Quintana is leaning in a lot more than, and lunging in more than he normally does. And it's really, potentially, I think, going to create a problem for him in this fight. Cotto will get to him with one of those counter punches if he keeps leaning in like that. Cotto's been actually very inactive here with his jab. Even against the lefty, it can work for him, and he's not throwing it that much. No punch, no punch, no punch. Very good. Oh, 
Quintana's movement giving Cotto just enough trouble so that he can't set himself and land the shots he wants. There's a good left hand by Quintana. Barrow more or less just coming straight in on Quintana, not moving to his left away from the power of Quintana. Here's Quintana going to work. Got Cotto on the ropes, able to slither off. You want to throw straight punches against Miguel Cotto, and that's what Quintana did in that sequence. Oh, beautiful left by Quintana. He's up. Quintana gaining confidence here, but there's a, a sweeping left by, by Cotto that had Quintana on the top of the head. No punch, no punch, no punch, no punch. Nice combination upstairs by Quintana. Well, you can hit Miguel Cotto. But, ooh, that very low, very low blow by, by Quintana. Accidental, accidental. Bien? Yeah. Si quiere tiempo? Yeah. Más tiempo. Si. Five minute clock, cinco minutos. He's got five minutes. You heard más tiempo. Uh -huh. uh, Steve Smolder in his 60th world title fight. They're in good hands with Smolder in there. He is one of the very Listo, best baby. referees Listo. in boxing. Okay. Regular clock, regular clock. Time in. Cotto says he's all right. Let's continue. So that a very low blow by, by Quintana. Smoker ruled it accidental. Quintana dishing it up. Back comes Cotto now. Trying to attack to the body. And that time Quintana got off the ropes, and that's what he's supposed to do, punctuating what for Quintana has been a very good third round. Okay? Okay. The way we did it in practice. Let's go. Keep breathing. Breathe deep. Real deep. Real deep. You can't let him throw first. He's a lefty. You remember that. You can't let him throw first. Well, in uh, Quintana's fight with Joel Julio, he hurt him badly in the sixth round with a body shot. So he's committed to going to the body. But this one strays a smidge low. Oop. And, um, of course, they gave the time to uh, Cotto to get himself together. But Steve Smoger wisely did not take any points away. And... Here is Cotto pressuring Quintana, but he moves off the ropes, and you can see it very good from our camera above the ring. That's exactly the kind of movement Quintana wants. Quintana skilled, accurate, tries to let his opponent take the chances and picks his spots. Round four scheduled for 12 for the WBA welterweight crown. One of the things about Quintana is he moves both ways. Look at him. He'll move right. He'll move left. He doesn't give you a lot of patterns to deal with, and it's very tough then. Although Cotto now is in corners, and you see him motor off those ropes. Not the easiest target for Cotto, and uh, Quintana very quick. Cotto, of course, is relentless, and here he comes again. He will pressure you throughout, and he feels at 147 now. He can pressure through a whole fight. He felt his last couple fights he could only fight in spurts because he had to lose that extra weight. It was a terrible, exhausting strain for him, and he is so happy to be at this weight now. He says he will not turn out like Ricky Hatton, who went to 147 and then returned. He said he'll never go back to 140. Body shot there by Cotto. Quintana looks over to Steve Smogan saying that may have been questionable. Straight left hand, a counter punch by Quintana. That's his big ticket punch. And Quintana trapped on the rope where he does not want to be against a uh, hard body <laughs> puncher like Cotto. And yet, Cotto missed a lot when he was on the ropes. And why, Steve? Because he didn't go to the body. Cotto with... 
Usually bad intentions behind everything. Oh, that's a final wow. catch by Quintana that made uh, Cotto Grimis and, and Buckle just a tad. Remember the sixth round of the Julio fight? He hurt Joel Julio with a body shot, did Quintana. He can throw down there. But hard to stop Cotto from coming forward. Quintana shows good power when he's confident enough to sit down on his punches. And he did it just then. He's trying it again now with the left hand. That time was partially blocked by Cotto. But he's making Cotto thinking about it. Cotto ripping some good body shots, but taking those straight left hands. Might be a little swelling around the, the right eye of Quintana. Wow, another good body shot by Quintana, but maybe a little low. Yeah, there is. There is some swelling around the right eye now of Quintana. I saw that start to develop in the last round, towards the end of the last round, but it didn't seem like enough to say anything, but now it's starting to build. And some left hooks now landing to that eye from Cotto. But otherwise, it's been a pretty good round for Quintana. Now, we said earlier how the faces of Cotto's opponents usually look very different at the end of the fight than from the beginning. A reminder to you viewers, next year, Showtime presents a first for Premium Cable. It's a force that can't be stopped. It only grows and becomes more powerful. And in February, it's coming to Showtime. You've been Fans have been watching mixed martial arts on pay-per-view in large numbers. It is a growing fan base. Now you can see it on Showtime. It's a burgeoning sport, and I, uh, I'm one of those people who think it complements uh, boxing fans because they have yet another uh, combat sport to watch. Working on that right eye area that's swelling up on Quintana. He is beginning to take on the look of a person in battle. And that is usually the case when you're opposed by Miguel Cotto. Oftentimes, Cotto's opponents just look to survive rather than engage, but uh, not the case here. Quintana, very game. And he's counterpunching very well, Quintana. The movement, the counterpunching has provided a bit of a puzzle to Miguel Cotto. Nice left hand by Quintana upstairs to the head. A straight left that, that connected. And then he quickly gets out of the way. Quintana, Quintana fighting intelligently. And he's going upstairs and downstairs. He's really mixing it up location. Almost like a pitcher. Notice there was an ice bag instead of an swell on the eye of the Quintana in the corner. The swell a very effective tool to stop the swelling. Now, Cotto is doing a much better job of being aggressive and working with the body in this round. Quintana off balance. Sprawling backwards. They continue. No stoppage. He's getting very rough now. Cotto cracking to the top of the head. Switching to lefty, and he's a natural lefty in everything in life except boxing. But we have seldom seen him turn to lefty stance. This is interesting. He does it every once in so often to try and confuse his opponents. And it's lefty against lefty. I think it's a mistake for Cotto to do this. He was so effective as a right. Well, but guess what? Maybe I'm wrong. He's coming through with some tough shots. This is a seminal moment for Carlos Quintana right now. And now he switches back to conventional, and he's landing to the party. Big sequence here for Miguel Cotto. This fight has turned. Oh, my. And Quintana is down. Now, was that? Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Como se siente? Como se siente? Blood coming from Quintana's mouth. Quintana looks very hurt. A punishing body shot, and now Cotto's looking to end it. He's down again. 
Trigger. Oh, the crowd so like it's right in Cantata's ear. And he says, you want to continue? Carlos trying to end it. Only five seconds left. Can he make it through the round? He holds on for dear life, and he made it. Put the answer on him. It shows you the power Cotto has delivering those body shots. Quintana had already taken some punishment. And the second time, Quintana was already hurt, took a big left hook to the head. It was an accumulation of punches, including that right hand, that sent him down. And Quintana took a beating in what will be a 10-7 round for Cotto. Fight, fight with one more round. Fight, fight for another round. Fight for another round. I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm dead, I'm dead. I can't do it. Quintana's done. He does not want to continue. And Miguel Cotto, victorious. Quintana does not answer the bell for round six after being down twice in round Pounds. He has brought his power with him, and this fight turned on the power of Quintana, really. Quintana landed some very good straight left hands. They did not hurt Cotto. That was the difference. Very impressive display by Miguel Cotto in his first fight at 147 pounds, and he is ready to begin his march as he wins his second world championship. He said 2007 would be the year of the welterweights. It may well be. And he will be right in the mix. So Miguel Cotto, once one of the best at 140, starts off brilliantly at 147 against formidable opposition. Makes the successful jump in weight. Now 28 and 0 with 23 knockouts, and he also captures the bragging rights as Puerto Rico's premier fighter. Meanwhile, Carlos Quintana unsuccessful, his first crack at a world title. Cotto hands Quintana his first loss. Now 23 and 1. So a uh, milestone night for Cotto. In a moment, we're going to go back into the uh, Cantata corner and listen with translation to everything that transpired. So you do, do not miss a thing. So a joyous Miguel Cotto exults here at Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City. Got it? No, you have As he put on a display of power. Let's listen to what happened in that blue corner, Quintana's corner, again. One round, one round. Double round, double round. Double round, double round. One round, give me one round. Okay. Give me one round, give me one round. I am the doctor, I am the doctor also. Give me one round. One round, one round. What do you want to do? Give me one round. Give me one round. Give me one round. Oh, you can 
Quintana saying that he did not want to continue. He did not want to incur any more wrath from this man. Miguel Cota, that last man who flew in there was uh, the head of the uh, New Jersey Commission, Larry Hazard, and he's the one who uh, ultimately waved it off. Let's get the official announcement from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at the end of round number five. A referee in charge, Steve Smoger, stops the contest upon advice of a ringside physician. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. He is the new WBA welterweight champion of the world, Miguel. no doubt as to who is number one in Puerto Rico. Brilliant performance by Cotto in that early on he had to face a very clever boxer who was also throwing some very potent punches and Cotto weathered it and then showed that amazing power that made him such a